One of the most frequently asked questions that I see online is how do I get more fonts downloaded into Carbac Create? Well, in reality, you're not actually downloading fonts into Carbac Create. You're actually downloading them onto your computer and they become available in Carbac Create. So if you already know how to download fonts onto your computer, great. Go ahead and download the fonts that you'd like to be available in Carbac Create close down Carbide Create and reopen it and they should be available for you. But if you'd like to see an example of this being done, you're gonna to wanna to stick around. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine and I recently made these baseball plate signs for my son's coaches at the end of the season and I wanna go ahead and show you how to create those soon. But in this walkthrough of how to download fonts onto your computer to make available into Carbide Create, well, I'm gonna share with you the process using one of the fonts that I suggest on using when making these baseball plates. The font that I use to make the plates is called Varsity Team, and I already have that downloaded on my computer, and it's available in Carbide Create. But I'm going to show you with this other font called Varsity. So you can go ahead and choose whichever one you like, Varsity or Varsity Team. It doesn't matter. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to get it available in Carbide Create. So let's just go ahead and jump into that process. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into defont.com. Defont.com here is just one of the many free font websites. Go ahead and use the one that you like or just follow along with me in this particular one. Like I mentioned already, the font that we are going to look for is called Varsity. So go ahead in the search bar, go ahead and type Varsity. As I mentioned already, the font that I use for the home plates that I have already made was Varsity Team. But for this example, I'm going to download Varsity. It looks actually a little bit better. It looks a little bit sleeker. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out, see what it looks like in Carbide Create. But if not, we'll just stick to Varsity Team. It, it, there's no issues with it. It came out just fine. But for this example, we're just going to download Varsity and we're gonna get that into Carbide Create. So go ahead and click Download. Once you get it download, go ahead and click on this T TTF. You may have it as a zip folder. Sometimes it just all depends on how the provider has it. I have it here as a zip folder. When I double click on it, I get this TTF file. And I have two of them here. That's why you have this number two. They're both the same. It's just a duplicate. So once you have this .ttf file, go ahead and double click on it. For Mac computers, you're going to get this pop up here. It's just kind of an example of of what the font's going to look like. And we're going to click on install font. So I would assume it's something similar with PCs. With that installed, I actually currently have Carbide Create already opened. So when I click on the text, and I click on this drop down menu for fonts, I'm not going to see it. I see Varsity Team, which I mentioned already, that I, I do have that one installed, but I don't see just Varsity on its own. So let's go ahead and close out Carbide Create. And go ahead and open up a brand new window. Go ahead and open up Carbide Create once again. And it is that simple. That's all you have to do. It's already installed onto your computer. Now by closing out Carbide Create and reopening it, it is now an option. So let's just confirm that. And there it is guys, Varsity is now a option in our text. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this is what we get. One thing I noticed after downloading this font was that for whatever reason, the font didn't have the offsets as it should have, but I wasn't really concerned about that. If I were to use this font, I would remove the smaller offsets, keeping only the outermost. Just wanted to share that even though the point of this video is to share how to get new fonts available in Carbide Create. There you have it guys, that is the process of getting new fonts available in Carbide Create. You're not actually downloading them to Carbide Create, you're just making them available in Carbide Create by downloading to your actual computer. Thanks guys and I'll see you guys on the next video.